Hi, my name is Hugh Panaro, and I play Eric, uh, who is also known as the Phantom in The Phantom of the Opera here on Broadway at the Majestic Theater. I don't usually count how many performances I do, but I have been told that I'm around the 3,000 mark. A uh, thousand of those, however, were playing Ralph. So as the Phantom, I'm uh, uh, hitting the uh, around the 2,000 mark. When I joined the company, this dressing room was a dark, dark brown. It was really sort of a man cave, and it, I found it very depressing considering the fact that I spend all night in the dark, you know, bowels of the Paris Opera House. So when I took over this role, I, I wanted a dressing room that was the antithesis. My dog is my heart. He keeps me centered. He has become a therapy dog for the company. I really believe that people come here to see him more than they do to see me. Our designer of the show, Maria Bjornsson, her concept for Eric was that in an effort to make himself look attractive to Christine, he models himself after Rudolph Valentino. It's a kind of heightened uh, smoky eye and the cheeks are hollowed out and the lips are even dark, very much like silent film movie makeup. I've been an actor since I'm 12 years old and I was always taught that part of your job as an actor is to learn how to do your own makeup. So it's very hard for me to sit in a makeup chair for an hour and have someone just kind of do it all. So uh, part of my process of becoming this character is actually doing some of my own makeup. And then uh, when we get to the bald cap and the prosthetic pieces, then the makeup artist will take over. And uh, But it's definitely, it's a collaboration. And by doing that, I slowly transform into the character. Uh, Eric and I are, are very different in, in one way. Eric is very uh, in control and sexy. There's a moment in, in, in the Phantom of the Opera song where he has to literally caress himself and move his hands down his body and his hips. I always feel like, oh my God, this is so not me. And uh, I really identify with the, the, more, the more damaged, uh, kind of uh, repressed, childlike quality in, in, in the character. I think the scariest thing about playing this role, and I think playing any role as an actor, is to really be completely 100% vulnerable and let an audience see that side of you. Once you put the makeup on and you get that mask on and you get the tight black pants on, it's amazing how much you become the character and Hugh goes away and the Phantom gets to take over.